Today we're going to be creating a minimalist monogram logo. This is when we just use the letters and that can be incredibly elegant. Right, so here we are in Canva. We're going to just go onto our homepage here and then type in Canva logo. Now you can see that we've come up with several different templates um, and you can get more specific if you want to typing in the search bar about a specific type of template for a certain look that you're looking for. You can use this as a base. Full disclosure, if you are wanting to literally just take one of these and convert it to just change the, changing the text to yours. Just be aware that you are then using a copy and you do not have full ownership of that design because you've used a base design from a program like Canva. So we always like to start from scratch because I have an image in my mind of what I'm wanting. That way we are able to create something more original than just copying a template. Right, so as you get started, I am doing a monogram design for a client by the name of Stephen Wills. And so I'm going to go into here. Here you can see you've got your template options again. You've got your styles that you can search under. Um, but we're going to be starting from scratch. We're going to start with some text and we are going to literally just pop the text box in there. This can be any text here. I'm going to start with a letter. We're just having Stephen Wills. So it's going to be an S um, and a W. So we're going to just start off with the S and then we are going to highlight that text and change it to something. Now I'm wanting something that um, has a little bit of elegance and something that just stands out a little bit more. So you can peruse through the different fonts. You might want to make this a little bit bigger so that you've just got an idea of what how it might translate. And remember you, um, as you know, the different types of texts have different styles. Um, so that's quite interesting. I like the fact that it's got different line thicknesses there. So let's try it with that. We're going to do a Sinzel decorative. So I'm just going to copy it. This is a duplicate button here. I'm going to duplicate that. Stephen Will. So it's an S and a W. That's quite fun. And um, what we're going to do there is we're going to start playing a little bit with the placement. So we get something enjoyable. I'm going to control group because I'm on Windows. And make that nice and big to fill the space that we've got. You want to make your logo nice and big. It actually uses the space um, of your canvas. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just change the color to an elegant. So this is now your, I've just clicked on this to have any other color kind of crushed gold type of look. That's great. And then now that you've selected that color, you've got that available to you for your other documents. So it's just right at the top here, document colors. Got that there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a rectangle through the middle. Add in some text in there and we're going to just have his name. I'm going to have it in all caps. Stephen Wills. I think to me he's sounding like an investment banker, gone entrepreneur, or I don't know, state agent. But this could work for anything, it's very, very elegant. So then you want to come across here to your spacing. You've got your letter spacing, so we're just going to pull that nice and wide, just there, stretch this out. I want it to go across the letters, and then I want to just Get it just in one thing. Just make sure that that is centered. That. Make sure it's all highlighted. Make sure, it's, and then something nice and bold and elegant. Just gonna up like there. I want the font color to be the same color as the main text. I'd like rounded corners. Quite like that, just inside of the top, uh, just inside of the S. And then we're going to ungroup and we'll just shift this position of the W in slightly so that we have that lift. 
that's better. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to, so what you're wanting to do when you've got a logo design, you're wanting to have a couple of different options so that you can apply it to a couple of different um, situations, whether it's a website or a letterhead, white background, black background, um, dark background, light background, and transparent background as well. So always start with a transparent background, something that looks quite elegant within it. So this, for example, would be your transparent background. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that page and the actual official colors that I would like. I'm just going to add a background color here. Here's your background color. And I'm wanting something that's going to throw up that <clears throat> Um, called quite nicely. So I'm going to look for a sort of silvery blue colour. You see how I'm just playing with it. I'm looking at the actual logo and seeing how that's being interpreted. And you, this is obviously a matter of personal preference. That starting to look quite good, really elegant. And I'm wanting to change the color to match the same so that it sort of disappears within it. So that's quite elegant as nice base. And then what we can do is we can also then have the colors switched out in reverse. That's quite nice actually, either like that. Um, or you can reverse those as well. And then um, just as a final flourish, what we can do is just add a little bit of, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a shadow. Now there are effects that you can create these shadows in. And I'll show you what those look like in a moment. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my gold and I'm going to just find something that's a little darker, much darker. And then you position and send backward so that creates a shadow. Got the color already to the back. And then what I'll show you here is how you can create a, what we can do here is just do exactly the same thing. Color just there, position back just adjust that slightly and then I want to bring that forward in front of the W so that that's got that um so that just gives a little bit of depth and then within the elements what we can do is just creates a little bit of a shimmer or a shine so that it creates more of that metallic effect so we go into the graphics we can see all and this is quite a nice shine over here. So we're going to start with it. Control C, Control V for copy and paste. And I'm going to zoom in here now to get the details. I'm going to just have another one ready. One more minute. This one we're going to cut down to there. As you can see, this is a really quick job. If you want something done properly, you would like to probably use something like Photoshop and creating from scratch. But this will do the job for something really quick and elegant. And obviously, um, your base that we had a second ago is also just absolutely fine. This is depending on how much detail you'd like to add to it, how temporary it's going to be. You need something just to get started but this might just add a little bit of depth to your whole design okay and then that is now that's a little harsh so what i'm going to do there next is just reduce your opacity There we have quite an elegant logo design as a monogram and um, what we can do now is we can duplicate that and um, we can delete background so that we've got 
um, how it might look on just a simple um, letterhead or a background and we'll download that with the transparent background so that that can be applied to just about anything. You have also got the option of inverting the colors so that you can see what it might look like um, if you, for example, have the opposite setting. So that means that this would be gold, that would be blue. Okay, so that's um, that's the opposite of what it might look like. And then you've just got a couple of different variations of your monogram logo. Okay, when you come to downloading it, so we're going to go down here, click download. If you haven't got the Canva Premium yet, go onto the PNG, that works, that works fine too. And then you can then just download all the pages or whichever ones you want um, and download them like that so that you've got your three different options. So there we have it. We've got a beautiful, elegant monogram design done in less than 15 minutes, and you've got three different versions of it that can be used across multiple platforms. So we'll be doing another um, logo next week for new business owners that can use Canva to create a fantastic business logo that looks professional and elegant. And it also has your own stamp on. See you next week. Bye.